Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to reduce costs when it comes to advertising. Now, one of the biggest things a lot of people that do e-commerce want is lower advertising costs with higher number of sales. And of course, that is literally a dream for everybody that does online business, including me. But how easy is it to actually get those lower costs when advertising? How easy is it to continue scaling while your cost for advertising is going down? Because it is definitely possible if you do it correctly to have a lower cost when it comes to advertising while increasing your sales with your e-commerce store now if you have been following me for a while you'll know that i released a video on my channel where i went over how i was doing roughly ten thousand dollars per day in the year of 2020 towards the early portion and during that time when i was doing ten thousand dollars in sales i was mostly using google ads for that store and I was spending only roughly $500 to $1,000 to do $10,000 in sales. So it is definitely possible in my own experience to have lower cost when advertising. This video is going to go step by step on exactly how you personally can do it. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you'll have to do in order to actually get those costs to go down is to destroy that like button until it turns blue. I promise it's going to take just two quick seconds. Okay, hopefully I've done that, but let's start by talking about what the advertising cost is even determined by. And this is one thing a lot of people don't even know. Believe it or not, it's extremely important to know what your cost is determined by in order to kind of deal with it and find a way to lower that cost. Because if you don't really know what's even going on behind the scenes, you're basically just throwing your money up in the air and then watching it come crashing down because that's what happens when you just let the system do its thing. So here are a few things you'll have to know regarding what determines the actual cost of the ads. So the number one thing is the number of competitors on that advertising channel. Let's face it, if there's a lot of people competing against each other, regardless of where it is, the cost is automatically gonna go up, especially if they're competing for one same thing. And that is exactly what happens when it comes to advertising in general. And it doesn't really matter what advertising platform you use, if the platform you're using or if the interests that you're targeting on that platform have a lot of competitors for that, the people that are competing for that interest or in that platform are going to compete against each other. What usually happens is that they start bidding against each other. So if one guy bids 50 cents, the next one will bid 60 cents and so forth. And this just continues to go on and on. It kind of starts to stack one on top of the other and this causes the overall CPC for everybody using that platform to increase. So the number one thing that really definitely um, impacts your cost when it comes to advertising is the number of competitors in general. Number two thing is the CPMs. Now, a lot of people just throw this word out there saying the CPMs went up or CPMs went down, but they don't really even explain what CPM is. So, so CPM is actually known as the cost per thousand impressions. And that basically means that that is the cost that you are charged for reaching up to a thousand people. Now, this doesn't mean that they clicked on the ad, but this just means that the ad was actually shown to them. Each advertising platform, each interest that you target is going to have a different CPM. Again, that's going to be impacted by some of the other things which I'm about to mention. But again, number one thing is the number of competitors. So CPM is directly impacted by how many people are trying to reach those same exact thousand people. But overall, this number definitely impacts the total cost of your ads. In addition, the third thing that impacts your cost is the advertising page quality. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? If you're targeting a page which is higher quality with a lot more quality audience which actually interacts with the ads and actually buy something, of course, the advertising platform will charge you more for that. And it doesn't matter if you're using an Instagram influencer, if you're using a Facebook page, you could be using whatever you want. If the page quality of that page is very high, you can be expecting to pay a bit higher for that page. Normally, not something that is really bad if you're getting a good return on ad spend for targeting that page. However, this is not always the case and we'll be talking about more regarding this later on in this video. But the fourth thing is the quality of your own website and your own products. Why? That is simply because the CTR is going to be influenced by the quality of your website and the quality of your products, including your ad. So if you're using Facebook ads, the first impression people have is that of the image ad or the video ad which you have for that product. If your image ad or video ad is not up to par for the audience, if they're not really interacting with it, these advertising platforms are automatically going to determine your page and your product as a low quality product, especially if you're using Google. And in that case, your listing is going to start heading more towards the bottom. Your advertising cost is going to increase over time. So this is another thing that definitely impacts your cost. And this all comes down to the overall CTR of the product and your ads. But just knowing what 
impacts the advertising cost is not enough because now you need to know how to deal with it. Let's start off by talking about people's most popular platform and that is Facebook ads. How can you be battling these raising costs when it comes to Facebook? There are several things you can do when it comes to Facebook ads. The number one thing is if you're using image ads for Facebook, you may want to try switching from those image ads to video ads. Normally, if you follow me again, you know that I definitely recommend using image ads over video ads simply because not a lot of advertisers do that. We want to always find a way to stand out of the crowd and using image ads is the best way to do that. But this is not always going to be the case because with an image ad, you may notice that your cost is actually higher than what it would be with video ads. And that's simply because with a video, people often spend more time looking at it, interacting with it, etc. That leads to a lower cost overall. So if you do notice an increased cost when it comes to using image ads, you may definitely want to try changing from that image ad into maybe a video ad but in addition you want to be trying different video ads all the time because just using one video ad all the time is not going to work you'll often notice that the cost starts to go up with that video you want to find a video which leads to a higher number of percentage viewed you can be looking at the 75 percent viewed or 95 percent viewed at columns to determine this but those two columns are extremely important when it comes to judging your ads the higher that number the better it is and the lower your cost is going to be when it comes to facebook but just the ad is not enough you need to be focusing on your interest as well so what do you do with the interest number one thing i recommend is narrowing down your interest maybe from a very very broad interest with a large variety of audience to maybe something more narrow so if you're trying to sell a bike on facebook ads you may want you may want to target the main interest bike but then your bike is a special bike designed only for kids then you may want to narrow that interest down from bike to kids bike as well and whoever is at the top funnel of bike will now be narrowed down into kids bike and the main reason why we do this is because we want to kind of narrow down on our audience make it easier for facebook to find the right people for us because if you make it too broad your costs may be low in the beginning but you may not end up getting any sales compared to if you just narrow down from the beginning have maybe a little bit of a higher cpc cpms etc but in the end actually get sales and in the end sales determine everything and they determine how much we can be spending so your number one metric that you should be looking at is this cost per purchase and narrowing down definitely helps with that the second thing you can do is test different interests which are more closely related to the product so instead of just targeting the interest bike at the top you may want to just scrap that all together and just target one ad set to the interest kids bike that's just going to help you get closer to the interest that you actually want to target and the audience that you want to reach this can definitely lower your cost especially if you follow the number one thing which i mentioned which is switching from image ads to video ads and whatever video you use using multiple different variations making sure that video is right for that audience but the third thing you can do with Facebook is target different countries. Normally, targeting just the U.S. is not the right way to go, simply because with U.S., there's a large amount of audience. Everybody and their dog wants to target the U.S. Instead, you may want to try targeting the top five countries or major e-packet countries if that is where you provide service to. Of course, the number one thing is that you are able to actually ship to those countries. So if you're not able to ship, don't just target them to lower your overall cost because it will lower it, but you might end up getting sales from those other countries which you don't ship to. That is definitely one thing you can do to lower the overall cost. But these are most of the things for Facebook. But this brings me to my last point with Facebook ads, and that is simply using bid caps. Now with Facebook ads, when you're creating an ad set, you'll notice that it lets you actually set a bid cap and let you choose the bid that you don't want to spend more on per click. And this normally I do not do, but this is another option for you if you're looking to really lower your cost especially with a product which is already a winning product for you and you're just trying to find different ways to lower that cost simply set a bid cap try out different bids for the cpc and see how that goes but these four things if you do one after the other and if you combine all of these will definitely let you lower your cost when it comes to facebook and these things can also be applied to other advertising platforms similar to facebook like twitter pinterest tiktok etc but moving on to Google ads now with Google ads, it's a completely different game simply because Google runs on different metrics compared to Facebook with Google. You have to be focusing on things like the images, the search engine optimization, relevance of your products, etc. And some of these things do also apply to Facebook, but overall it is sort of a different strategy. Number one thing you want to be doing if you're trying to lower those costs is to have higher quality images, especially the first image, which everybody sees on your ads or also the variant images because with higher quality images what you're going to notice is that you're going to get an overall increased ctr for those ads and for those products 
when you have an increased CTR, your CPC is going to go down. And in my own experience, I've noticed that every time my CTR has gone up while my CPC has gone down, my cost per purchase has lowered and my ROAS has increased. And that is one of the biggest things you can do in order to increase your overall profitability for your store. But in addition, you want to be making sure that you're doing proper search engine optimization for your titles and product descriptions and the product images without proper seo techniques you will not be able to achieve the results that you want with google because these words that you use which are search engine optimized are basically interests that you're giving to google to go target with google shopping ads generally you will notice that you're not able to put any interest directly like you would with facebook to target and these search engine optimized words are the words which act as interest so that is why you want to always be focusing on proper seo techniques when it comes to selling on google ads but this brings me to the third point which is simply increasing the selling cost of your products now this is going to lower the overall cost of your advertising because you're going to be making more sales with the same amount of advertising spend so overall that is going to be similar to just lowering your advertising spend in general and what i've personally noticed with google ads is that it takes the same amount of effort maybe sometimes even the same amount of ad spend to get sales with a high ticket product compared to a low ticket product and that is definitely a benefit when it comes to google ads so you want to be putting in the work trying to make sure that you find those high ticket products i've made tons of videos on this on my channel which you can check out i'll leave the link for that google ads playlist in the description below but this brings me to the fourth point and that is relevance now with facebook you also need to be relevant making sure your interests are relevant to your products with google it's a little bit different you want to make sure that the search engine optimized keywords are relevant to your product meaning if you're trying to sell a cat necklace make sure you don't mention the keyword dog necklace anywhere in your description because then google is going to mark that as a search engine optimized keyword it's going to try and rank you for that keyword which you obviously don't want because it is not relevant to what you're trying to sell so make sure that your search engine optimized keywords are relevant to what you're selling and your images and everything also matches along with that but that brings me to my last point and that is simply give more control to google if you want to lower your overall cost you can do that by simply starting a smart shopping campaign i normally recommend this after having 50 to 100 sales with a google shopping campaign in general if you don't have that do not start a smart shopping campaign because smart shopping campaigns are very smart but they need data to work and the reason why they're so smart is because once you have enough data once you have enough conversion history google then starts going out and doing its own tricks and trying to find you sales at a lower cost overall so you won't be setting any types of bids you won't be having much control over that campaign that is simply because google is now taking things in its own control and trying to minimize the cost completely in my experience smart shopping campaigns have worked wonders but they do definitely require a lot of patience and time but this is exactly how you reduce costs when it comes to the two main advertising platforms you can of course apply these same strategies on other advertising platforms as well but if you find any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time